Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen bean touring. This is one of my favorite enchilada recipes I like to use. It's my chicken enchilada recipe, full of flavor and yumminess. You cannot resist. So stick around, watch, and see how I make this wonderful chicken enchilada dish. Hope you enjoy. bell okay this recipe is going to make your taste buds wake up and it's delicious it's very simple and easy to make so sit back relax and enjoy for this enchilada recipe you're going to need to boil some chicken breast season to taste I use one cup of water to one cup of chicken broth after the chicken is done you're going to let it cool off and then you're going to shred it. I also use one can of Hunt's Fire Roast Diced Tomatoes, one can of Live Victoria Green Enchilada Sauce, and one can of Black Sliced Olives. You're also going to need some tortillas and a cooking dish. I'm using a 9 by 13 cooking dish. Okay, for this, I got my cooking dish and I used about one fourth of La Victoria Green enchilada sauce and I evenly spread it around the dish. Now I'm going to take my one tortilla and I'm going to put it flat inside the dish. I'm going to take some shredded chicken and evenly press it in the tortilla and then I'm going to take just a tiny bit of the Hunt's Chunky Tomato and then I'm going to use, I'm using two cheeses, regular mild cheddar and some mozzarella and I'm going to add that in the enchilada as well. And after my tortilla is full, I'm going to take one side and then the other side and then I'm just going to flip it around and make sure it's tucked like so. Let's do that again. So I take one tortilla, place it down nice and flat on the dish. I'm taking some shredded chicken. Try not to fill it too much because you don't want your shell to break. And then I'm taking just a tiny bit uh, the hunt tomato and then my favorite part I'm adding some cheese and once again you take one side and then you take the other side and then you flip it and tuck it and there you go friends that is the start so if you have a 9 by 13 dish it should make about 12 enchiladas after you finish making your enchiladas you're going to add the remainder of your green sauce and spread it over your enchiladas after that you're going to add a, just a little bit more of the chunky tomato paste to give it a little more color a little more flavor And the rest of your cheese. And you're going to start preheating your oven to 375 and you're going to let your enchiladas cook for 20 to 30 minutes. Or until cheese is nice and bubbly and optional you can add black olives on top 